Hi everyone, how are we doing this evening? Give us a thumbs up if you can hear me. That's the usual, Sarah, Legend, how you going? Shay, good stuff, Denver, awesome. Matt Austin, I'm hoping that's not Matt, I'm hoping that's Lee. All right, guys, so as usual, we'll need our mini band, uh, drink bottle, get a drink bottle nearby so you don't have to move too far. We will use a yoga mat as well. If you've got a mat, if you're not on carpet, if you're on a hard surface, um, you, you'll need a yoga mat. Mini band, foam roller. Uh, we'll do a quick recovery at the end of the session. Um, and that's about it. If we've got some older athletes in tonight's session, I think Liam, I, thought, I think I saw you in here somewhere. Yeah, Liam, if you've got, because uh, it is a strength session, even some of the older under 14s that have been doing the strength and conditioning by Zoom with me now since uh, first lockdown, if you've got a dumbbell or a kettlebell, something you want to use as a bit of resistance for our squat and our split squat, um, that's totally fine as well. So, okay, we will uh, we'll get started. We'll do some mobility as per usual. Make sure that you guys can turn the back of the room there. Please excuse my dog Luna. She might get a bit involved tonight. So. We've got a uh, we've got our foam roller. You can use the couch, uh, use the couch, use the wall, whatever you've got nearby. But I'm just going to do my ankle mobility here because it's easy to see. With my toe about 10 centimeters back from the foam roller, uh, Luna's in the way, and I'm just putting, keeping my heel planted and pushing my knee into the foam roller. I'm just trying to get a cut to the foam roller there and coming back. And you can just sort of rock back and forth two or three times on each leg just to get that Achilles and that calf nice and limber. Swap legs here. Left foot now, so about 10 centimeters back from the foam roller with my big toe. And again, just tapping my knee to the foam roller. If you're using the couch or the wall, that's fine. Tap to the foam roller. Should be feeling that stretch down the bottom of your calf into your Achilles. That attachment there. Okay, jump up, put the roller aside. We won't need that again until we do a quick foam roll at the end. Uh, we've got our hip mobility. So like our Spider-Man squat, what we're gonna do is, again, feet normal distance apart. So from, I'm side on, you can see me. All right, I'm just gonna bend at the hip, slowly come down, sort of touch my toes. So I get a bit of a hamstring stretch, lower back stretch there. Okay, I'll move forward now. I'm gonna wrap my fingers under my big toe or I can put my, my hands just completely under my toes, and then I'm gonna bring my hips down. Okay, so I'm bringing my hips down, I'm sitting down as low as I can into that squat. If my heels come off the ground here, okay, because I don't have great ankle mobility, I'm a little bit older than you guys. Uh, I'm, my heels come off the ground a little bit, that's okay. We're just down as low as we can, opening up those hips, and our elbows are on the inside of our knees, okay? So we, we look a little bit like Spider-Man hanging upside down right now, all right? I'm going to keep my left hand under my left feet, foot, and I'm going to twist and look up at my right hand. And then I'm just going to take a couple of deep breaths here. That's stretching out my lower back a little bit, stretching out my hips. Come back down, right hand under my right foot, and then I'm going to twist and turn now up to my left. All range of motion is not as good here, so I have to focus on my breathing a bit more. go and come back down perfect all right that's our mobility very quickly into our mobility now we're going to go into our crab walk so grab your mini band okay if you don't have a mini band don't stress you can still do these you'll still get some glute activation but the preference is you've got some form of resistance band there so we're going to chuck the mini band around our ankles chuck the mini band around our ankles jack your dog's getting involved as well which is good to see Cody, Jonty, Bill, Cody, awesome. Okay, so band around our ankles. We're gonna do, again, you can you should be able to see the, uh, the session on the screen there. We're working on the top session, session A tonight for the strength session. Uh, and we're working on week three. Okay, so we're a little bit of an overload. Uh, so a little bit of an overload tonight. So where we were originally doing two sets, 
for push-ups. We'll do three tonight. Uh, and depending on how we're going for time, we'll try and get three sets probably of our glute bridges, uh, probably of our split squat, and maybe of our plank. We'll see how we're going for time. So you guys have already started, which is good. We've got our crab walk here. So we're stepping out, we're bending in our knees. We've got a nice athletic stance and we're just sort of defensive sliding against the resistance of that band. I'm going five to my right, five to my left, and then I'm gonna do two sets of that, so I get my 10. Again, really important, you guys pay attention to this, we're not standing up straight like this, okay? So if that's not really doing too much for us, we need to be bending our knees, sitting back on that imaginary chair, back straight, chest up, or in that sort of defensive slant, uh, stance, okay? Let's just do, yeah, we're just gonna stick with one set of those. One set of those should be 20 because I wanna move through the rest of this. Um, we're gonna move now, we're gonna grab our mini band and move it up to our knees because we've got our, we've got our mini band squat. And again, just so you guys sort of understand, I don't wanna to go too much into the anatomy side of things, uh, but just so that you guys understand what the band is actually doing here, by having it above our knees, so there's my kneecap here, below the band. By having the band above it, what that is doing is that it's essentially trying to pull my knees together, all right? Or if you think about the bones of my upper thigh here, which is my femur, okay? We want them to be running pretty well in line like that. Okay, we want them to be running a bit of a straight line. The band's trying to pull me in like that, so that my femur is angling in. Okay, the muscles that stop, that bone from angling in are my glutes, okay? So the muscles that pull my femur away like so are the muscles on the side of my bum here. And that, what this band does, it helps us keep those muscles activated through movements like the squat um, and a jump and a glute bridge and things like that. So really important muscles to have activated. So here we go now, we're gonna go straight into our box uh, squats are just our normal squat here, unless you've got a bench or a, a box to squat to. We're gonna do three sets of eight. I'm gonna do the first set, and then I'm gonna come and watch you guys for the second and third set. Here we go. Again, if you want if you want some resistance, older kids or kids that are a bit more experienced with s &C, grab something and hold it here at your chest. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Here we go, so down for one, push up. Two, again, I use my hands as a counterbalance in front here. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Have a quick rest, 20, 30 seconds. I'm gonna do the second set and I'll watch the third. So here I've got my kettlebell. For anyone that has a kettlebell or any resistance, it's not mandatory, but if you feel confident with these movements, it doesn't have to be heavy. I've got an eight kilo here, but you can get four kilos, six kilos, whatever you've got. Or you could even do it, sounds silly, do it with your drink bottle. Um, do it with tin cans, doesn't matter. Use whatever you've got around you. Anything above and beyond your body weight is progressive overload, it's all good, okay? So our second set here, I like to hold this kettlebell, I'm gonna hold it on the side here, like that. Okay, some people like to actually hold it on the actual fat bit. I don't mind, whatever's up to you, but Important that you have it at your chest here. Okay, have it at your chest. Zach, just make sure your knees are tracking straight with that squat, mate. Keep them going straight towards the camera, not out to the side like that, unless your feet are out wide. Here we go for our second set of eight. One, two, three. Actually, change up my hands and go under. I lied to you guys. Four, again, sitting your butt right back. Five. Good job. And eight, excellent. You can keep that nearby, or if you've got dumbbells, you can keep that nearby, keep your band on. You guys are doing another set. I'm gonna check your form. What is that, Zach? That's not a squat. Knees are going in line with your toes, mate. Your knees should be pointing at the camera. A bit better. Good Sarah, good job Chase. Keep your knees apart Chase, you need to get your feet a little bit wider mate. That's here, bend your knees as well as that's a bit better mate, good job. Good, I can only see one of the four sisters. I think it's Beth. 
Good job, though. Good work. Good job, Jack. Got the kettlebell, Jack. Don't throw it. Good job, Cam. What are you using there? You got a kettlebell as well. Good. Go side on for, for one set, too, if you want to, guys, so I can see what your form's like going sideways. Make sure we're making the right shape there. Matty Polglazer, perfect squat, mate. Good job. Try and speed it up on the way up, though, Matty. So go slow on the way down. Every time we're moving upwards, whatever we're doing in basketball, we want to be explosive. You never want to jump slowly, do you? You can go down slowly, because that's as your muscle's stretching. That's good for us. But as we're going up, we want it to be explosive. Okay, a few there. I can't see Denver. Where is that? All right, good job, guys. So we should be done now. Our three sets now. Keep your band on. Put your weights down that you can keep them nearby if you want them for your split squat. We're going into our glute bridge. So grab a quick drink if you want. Watching me for this demo. But we should know what we're doing. Most of us, I think, by now. Luna's going to absolutely... Tackle me here, I can tell. Yep, here it comes. Oh. All right. <laughs> I'll do the best I can. So again, lying flat on our back. Hopefully you guys don't have a dog trying to chew your ears off. And again, making sure we can just reach our heels. Okay, so just keeping our back flat so we should just be able to twist to the side there and reach our heels. That, that's how we know we're, we're far enough away. Okay. Let me come through that here, mate. Sit, sit, okay, sit. Yeah, she's well trained. Okay, and we're pushing up. How many have we got? We're going to go three sets of 10 here. Okay, let's go. I'm going to do the first set, and then I'm going to come and watch you guys for the last two sets. Pushing up, and then coming slowly back down to the, to the carpet. Push hips up to the roof, keeping your shoulders uh, flat on the ground, shoulders, shoulders on the ground, so you're you're rotating sort of on your shoulders, pushing hips up to the sky, slowly back down. All the while, guys, you should be keeping your knees apart. Okay, keeping your knees apart because that band is still there, making our glute knee work. Luna, hey, hey, stop. Oh. <laughs> okay, two more reps. Good. Grab a drink, quick breather. I'm going to lock Luna in the other lounge room. <laughs> come on. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Come here. Come here. All right. On to your second set, guys. Second set. I'm watching. Good job, Sarah. Perfect distance with your heels. Zap all the way up. Push all the way up it, mate. Good. Remember our breathing through this exercise too. It's really important. So as we're pushing our hips up, you can just gently breathe out or push that breath out and then breathe in on the way down. Like what I was saying to Matt on the last set, work on trying to be explosive as we push our hips up, squeeze our glutes, and then come slowly back down. So if you think about the movement, when you push up, and you push your hips up to the roof, we're shortening the muscle, okay? So we're shortening the glutes because they're contracting, the muscles are tightening. As you think about the muscles lengthening, so as they're coming back down to the ground, the muscles are relaxing, we want that to be slow. We want that to be nice and slow. That's how we can add a little bit of overload to the exercise. All right, some of you will be on to your third step now. Let's keep working, have a quick drink. Shouldn't need too much rest for these. And we go straight into our third set. We've got a bit of overload in week three. And then as you can see in week four, it, it, it tapers off a little bit. Oh no, it looks like, no, sorry, it keeps going up. It keeps going up and then week five will be a rest. So we keep going all the way up. That's how progressive overload works. So up, 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 up. And then we have a, a week off. We have a week rest. That's it guys, good job, keep working. Good job. Good to see you in here, Taylor, Kate, Jackson, Taylor, Alex, Big Liam, Archie. Again, I really hope that's Reed Austin, not Matt Austin. Good job, guys. Excellent. All right, if you've done your third set, you can take the band off now. 
So take your band off from around your, your knees. Just put that off to the side and we're going to our upper body. Okay, so we're quickly just gonna switch it up and go to push up. So this week here, last week we did two sets, I think. This week we're gonna do three. Uh, this week we're gonna do three. Really quickly through the different techniques that we can use again. So again, you guys have to be the judge of this. I can't watch every rep, unfortunately, for you guys. I'll try and watch as many as I can in sets two and three. You can be all fours, okay? And still bringing chest to the ground, okay? All fours, you can bring your knees back a bit. And now, now I'm, 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 I've got my hips locked in, okay? And I'm, I'm still on my knees, but I'm, I'm lifting a little bit more than if I was on all fours, or you're up on your toes, all right? I'm gonna go, um, what's the easiest way to show you guys? So again, with the push up, our elbows, whether you're doing them on your knees, whether you're doing them um, on your toes or on all fours, it doesn't matter. Elbows should not be there. Okay, elbows should be at the very worst moving on that sort of plane there. Ideally a little bit closer. So you'd almost be you'd almost be grazing the side of your body with your upper arm. Okay, so this part of my arm would almost be grazing by my body. My elbow doesn't have to graze my body. Okay, my elbow doesn't need to but my upper arm would just be making gentle contact with my body. If I'm out here and I'm doing a push up, I'm not feeling any contact, okay? And I'm putting my shoulder into a really, really weird position. That's end range of motion to my shoulder there and I'm putting it under stress. We don't really want that, all right? So what I'm gonna do, last week we had a bit of a competition. We'll do that again, but it'll be your best. Um, we'll, we'll go total for your three sets. So your total amount of push-ups for your three sets, whoever can get the most, okay? Because the, the most for one set last week, I think was 24 or 25. Now we're gonna total all three sets, okay? So I want you to challenge yourselves. If you get 20 in the first one, try and get 15, and then try and get 15 again. Or if you get 25, try and get 20 and 20, because you will fatigue a little bit. So let's go with the three sets. I'm gonna do as many as I can. One, two, three, four. Alright, I got 30. Keep working guys, so make sure you take a breather. Once you start to fatigue, have a break. Once you feel that fatigue starting to set in, don't let the form drop off. Have a break, do your second and third set, and keep your total throughout. So obviously, we prefer to be training in person right now, but the beauty of these sessions is we can still build in good habits. We're still building in good habits here, learning the form of the exercises, but also learning to monitor our breaks, okay? Because rest periods in a, in a training session are really, really important, all right? There's a big difference between doing three sets of 10 and doing one set of 30, all right? I don't have time to explain this entirely, but the two different forms of training give a totally different muscular adaptation, okay? And we want that rest because it mimics basketball a little bit better. It's a little bit more like that high interval sport. Whew. Where are those elbows going, Zach? Graze that upper body there, mate. Good job, good job, Sam. Don't let yourself fall down to the ground. They don't count, brother. You gotta control your weight down. That's it, better, better. Don't fall all the way down. We're still getting the push-up portion, but we need that eccentric portion. We need that control on the way down. Good job, Cody. Good job, Kate. Good. Good guys, good work. You all right, Zach? <laughs> good back, good man. Third set, third set if you're up to it. Good job, guys, keep working. That's good. That's good, that's perfect, is that? That looks like it might be Sienna now, I can say. Good job, good Sienna. 
those push-ups are fine. Just keep that elbow, keep that upper, that, that upper arm grazing past your body. Your elbow doesn't have to, but we're still making sure we keep our elbow sort of tight into our body. We're not going flaring out here. It's like shooting a jump shot. You shoot a jump shot, we don't want to shoot the ball like this. Yeah? We want to be in here. Yeah, elbow doesn't have to be right underneath our hand. We don't have to plank it in like that. Okay, but it needs to be, needs to be no worse than there. Okay, stop it there. All right. Once you've done your three sets, you can turn your mic on, tell me what you got, or you can type it in. I don't mind. I'll call out the winner. Zach, I'm not counting yours, mate. You. Can I got 80? 80? Between yeah. the two of you? Is in 40 each or 80 total? Uh, 80, 80 each. In total. 80 each. 80 total between the two of you or 80 yeah. for you and 80 for her? 80 for me. 75. Wow, well done. Good job, girls. 80 is amazing. You got 55? What'd you get, Sarah? 82 from Alex Jones. Oh, Alex has just heard the poor sister's got 80 and put 82, I reckon. Cheeky bugger. What did anyone else get? Anyone beat 82? Denver 55. Good job, mate. Well done. Anything above 50 is outstanding, guys. That's more than 15 each go. That's pretty good. 30. Good read. Doing them on your toes, that's all right. That's good, good. Or is that Matt that got 30? 50, Jack, well done. Or oh, I think I think the 80s are going to be pretty tough to beat. So I'll give it to Bill Cody. Good job, Bill Cody. I'll give it to uh, I'll give it to, to Alex, but also the poor sisters, I reckon. 80, 80, 82. Good effort. Excellent. All right, so we're going back to our legs quickly. We've got our split squats. Uh, we've got three sets of eight. Okay, so... Oh, 81, Matt, he reckons. <laughs> He's just finished up now. We'll, we'll say it was close between Alex, Matty Polglaze, and the Poor Sisters. I'm pretty happy with that. Well done, guys. But everyone that's doing that, really, really good. Okay? I don't, like, we make that a little bit competitive, but I, I don't want to see people doing really ugly push-ups trying to get 85 next time. I want you to keep the form is really important. So, hopefully you've had enough of a break now. We're going to go straight into our split squats, so our lunges. Got three sets of eight. Again, if you're confident with these and you want to load a bit of a weight here in your, at your chest, that's fine. If you've got two dumbbells, you might go one either side. All right, and again, remember we start from the ground up. So we get down into this nice, nice square uh, lunge position. You can, I'm coming around, I don't want to go back on my word in terms of technique, but I am coming around a little bit to a little bit of knees over toes action. Okay, a little bit of knees over toes. Your shin doesn't have to be totally vertical, but just I just don't want to see people doing lunges and going all the way forward like that and not bending their back leg. So as long as you're bending your back leg, I don't mind a little bit of shin angle. Let's do, uh, let's do eight on each leg. Here we go. I'm going to hold my goblet here again. And I'm on my right, I've got my right leg forward. There's one, two, three. Good. Eight on each leg. I'm going to do the first set. I'm coming to watch the second two sets. You can go out and see that. One, two, three, four, five. Have a breather, guys. If you've just finished your first set, I'm going to come watch the second. Again, use the camera if you can see your own screen for a bit of feedback. Try not to look down at your feet. I think it's best there. Try not to look down at your feet. Try and look straight ahead. It'll keep, it'll make, make your back stay a little straighter. Um, how many sets do we do? Three sets. Oh, sorry, okay. Sienna. Three sets, yep. Thank you. Good job. You're all right. Hi, Beth. <laughs> so you're poking your head down now. Good job. Good, Cam. Don't come flat on that foot, Cam. Keep that toe, keep that toe flex the whole time. So see how your foot's flat like that, your back foot? Don't don't go flat on that. Keep your toe flex. So yep, come back and stay in that position. Yeah, that's better. Yep. Maybe a little bit further forward with that front leg. Good Kay. Maybe having a seat. Good Toby. Keep working, Toby. 
That's good, mate. Keep your back straight. Try not to look down at your feet. Good, Cody and Jonty. Good to see the boys are back wearing matching clothes too by the look of it. That's cute. Good job. Good job, Zach. Good job, Chase. Excellent. Good job, girl, Cody. Girl, Cody, you got the full got the full weight set up there behind you. I'm waiting for you to just grab the barbell and do some bicep pills or something. Good job. It's a great setup. Good job, Denver. Excellent. Good job, guys. Keep working. That's really good. Second and third sets now. Sarah, just keep your back straight. Try and stay a little bit more upright. That's a bit better. Bring that back foot in. That's better. Try not to look down at your feet because what that does, once we start looking down at our feet, then our upper body goes down with it. Yeah? So that's, we don't want that there. I, I know that looks like a sprint position, but for a lunge, we want to load evenly so we stay nice and upright and keep our back straight. Good work, guys. Have a drink if you've done your three sets. Really good. We're, we're, we're making great time tonight, so we're going to have time to do three sets of the plank. Should be a bit of fun. Uh, and we'll finish off with two sets of calf raises. So, quick drink if you'll finish off your last set. Chase, brothers, good job. Drink. Good hand. All right, and then we've got our plank for our, our prone hold. Three sets in 90 seconds. So this is going to be going to be pretty tough, especially for those of you that just did 80 push-ups. It's going to be heaps of fun. All right, here we go. I've got my timer. I'm trying to see as many of you as I can. Hopefully, you guys can get down in position again. Everyone down in position. I'm, I won't start the first set until I can see. Yep, yep, good, good. Everyone down in plank position. Yep, good, ready to go. All right, on my say so. We're going for 90 seconds, three sets. Okay, it's going to be a bit of tough work. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Again, I'm just in my, my normal plank here on my elbows. I'm not super confident I'll get three sets in a minute and a half. On my hands, shoulders, shoulders are a bit fatigued today. So let's hold that plank. Again, you can use you can use your own screen for biofeedback. I don't want to see bums pointing up to the roof. Okay, I don't want to see hips sagging down. Here we go. That's 30 seconds. Stay locked in. Good job, guys. Oh boy, 45, we're halfway there. Halfway there, if you need to come down, come down for a breather. If you need to come down and try and come back up and join us again. Yeah. Good job guys, there's a minute. 30 seconds to go, this is hard work. This is a bit of an overload this week and next week. We're pushing ourselves a little bit and we're gonna have a week off. We have a week's break in the middle of the term there. Okay, we've got 15 to go. Ooh. Good job, stick with it. Three, two, and down. Awesome. Have a rest, grab a drink, don't go too far. Be ready to come back into position. I'm soft, I've changed my mind. We're gonna do two sets. We did two sets of a minute last week. Three sets of a minute and a half would be a bit too much of an overload, I think. If you've got time after and you want to do a third set, be my guest. But we're just going to do two, and then we're going to go into our two sets of calf raises. And that hopefully will give us a bit of time quickly for a quick cool down. So I'm watching your second set now, because I'm lazy. Uh, into your second set. Everyone in position, ready for this second 90 seconds. We're going to go in five. Let's go, Cade. Two, one, and go. Yep, good. 
try and shift your shoulders over your elbows a little bit more, girl Cody. Just bring your body weight forward a little bit and get the get your hips down a little bit. I know that's perfect. Good job. That's a bit harder. Good job, Cam. Cam, your camera placement's really perfect because I couldn't tell. You could just be on your knees the whole time, just chilling, and I wouldn't be able to tell. You're right, mate. You, you can keep it there. <laughs> All good. Good job. Good job, guys. Keep working. Keep working. Let's go. We're getting better. 30 seconds down. Good job, Cade. Up on the hand. Let's see what the brother's doing. Nah. Toby's on his elbows. Putting him to shame. Good job, Cade. Come on, Cody. <laughs> Good work. Good job, Matty. Good work. Great job. Poor sisters are killing it. Looking too easy. Good job, Sarah. Try and come down a little bit. Get your shoulders straight over those hands. That'll make it a little easier. That's better. Perfect. Good job. Good working, guys. That's a minute. We've got 30 seconds. Keep working. You're killing it. This is the last bit of real hard work. Good job, Denver. Just bring those elbows back a little bit, mate. Just get those shoulders over, over your elbows. That's a bit better. Shift that weight forward towards the wall a little bit more where your head is. Good. Keep going with a pen. Keep working, guys. You're doing well. Two, one, rest. Great job, guys. Come down, grab a drink. Awesome. Great job. Minute and a half plank. That's no joke. That's good work. That's no joke. Good job. I can see a couple of you are feeling that there in the core. That's what we want. Hey, we're still able to get a workout even though we're not together. That's, that's the beauty of this stuff. That's the beauty of technology. So well done, guys. You all did a hell of a lot better than me. I don't know if I would have got through a minute and a half then. Impressive. So we'll finish off with some calf raises. Uh, we'll do two sets of 25 on each leg, uh, 25 total. Uh, if you want to do single leg, you can, um, but you'll probably have to keep going once the session finishes. So once you're ready, once you've had a drink and enough of a break from your, from your core workout, jump up. I'm going to use the wall here just to help me stabilize a little bit. You guys might not need it. I'm just going to go both legs at once for 25. Okay, so we've got two sets of 25. I'm going to do both legs at once. Away we go. One, all the way up onto the ball of our feet. Two, three. And again, it's like jumping. It's just like our squat, isn't it? We don't want to go slowly up here and then slowly down or slowly up and then quickly down, okay? We want to go quick up and slow and controlled on the way down, okay? That lengthening of our calf muscles in our Achilles, if we can do that, slowly and, and, and under control, especially on a single leg, you guys are going to be dynamite. Five, six, six is going to take a bit, seven, eight, nine, ten, go slower on the way down, Jade, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, ten to go. If you're already on your second set, because I was busy talking, go for it. Just go for it. If you've had a no, no less than 30 second breather, make sure you've always got a 30 second break in between. We can have a little bit of cumulative fatigue, but we can't just roll out 50. We're not doing, we're not doing one set of 50. We're doing two sets of 25. There's a big difference. That recovery, that stop start, that's what we're training here. Those muscles, they need that. Five to go here for me. Oh. Um, you know, up. Oh. 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 Good job. All right, I'm watching the second set. Here we go. If you haven't started your second set, go for it. If you're in the middle, I'm coming to see you. Good job, Jack Brown. Well done, mate. Good job. Well done. Good, Matty Polglaze. Good work. I like it. Got the kettlebell as well. Awesome. Well done, guys. If you're comfortable and you've got a little bit of resistance, you want to use it, feel free. Good job, Denver. Single leg. They're tough. They are tough. You get to about 20 there, my heels barely come off the ground. Good job, Denver. Keep working. It's awesome, mate. Good job, girl, Cody. Don't overload it too much. You got this. Cam, are you done or are you resting? You're done? Good man. You can grab your foam roller, mate, and start foaming out your glutes. Anyone that's done, anyone that's done their two sets, grab your foam roller. We're going to do glutes quickly, ITB, carbs, and we'll finish up real quick. Good job. Keep going. There's no rush. If you're still doing your calf raises, finish them off. 
extinction purpose. Excellent. Good job, Matty. Good job. Quick foam roll. You guys can take more time after we're done to foam roll right out. Make sure you get a good meal in tonight. Keep working hard. Tomorrow night's uh <laughs> just put your there. Tomorrow night's um tomorrow night sessions with Tom Garrett. Okay, so Tom Garrett's taking our train with me tomorrow night. I know some of you guys are doing other sessions. If you're doing sessions with Matt Porter and Empire, terrific. If you're doing sessions with Abby, terrific. Whatever you guys are doing right now to get your basketball in your hands, that's all that matters. Okay, we're going to do a quick foam roll. Grab your foam roll. We're going to do glutes first. Guys, a couple of real quick messages just in terms of um, training and stuff at the moment. Big thing is whatever you can do, um, obviously there's no pressure to, to, to be training right now to be doing anything basketball, but if you are going to do it, try and, try and build in some competitive stuff. Okay, if you've got a brother or a sister, I said it in the last lockdown, it, it doesn't matter if they're two years younger, three years younger, challenge yourself and play them with your left hand. And if you're the younger sibling, awesome. Just, just beg, beg your older sibling to play you right now. Okay, that competitive stuff, that's the stuff we really can't mimic here in these sessions. No, no amount of strength and conditioning, unless we were together in the stadium mimicking you know, movements, defensive movements against each other. We can't, um, you just can't buy that level of reactiveness, having to change direction and react to an opponent. So if you guys can play some one-on-one -on -one with people within your household right now, even if you've got a mum or dad that wants to get out and play a little bit and just play some fake defense or play some fake offense, even that's going to be really beneficial for you just to, just to have you moving side to side, jumping up and down, responding to, to their movements. Okay, that's glutes there. So again, remember, if you haven't done those before, I've just got my ankle, my right ankle up on my left knee, and I'm rolling back and forth. That can also be our glute stretch as well. So remember our pretzel stretch, we get in that position there, and my hand goes through the little triangle that I've made with my leg, and I rock back and forth. Now I'm just gonna quickly do ITB, so down the side of my leg here, down this band here, this band here gets nice and tight after exercise, so I'm just lying right on the side there. If that's too heavy and that's too much pressure, just roll that leg, put that foot in front, and then just coming back and forth, rolling all the way from the side of your knee. Don't go all the way down to the knee joint, but just to the just to the very sort of top of where you top of your kneecap on the side there, and up to the side of your hip. Do both sides of your body. Spin around, do a bit of a break dance on the carpet, and then go again on the other side. And then to very quickly to finish off, always do our carbs. Those are a big area of tightness, and we don't want to get detraining in our carbs through this period here. So again, my message, do whatever training you can get right now. We're offering, you know, we're offering a bit, there's other people offering stuff. Whatever you're doing, you get a basketball in your hands or any any ball, to be honest. Oh, who cares? Get a soccer ball. Get a soccer ball and go play one-on-one. -on -one. Play, play soccer against each other. Just respond to a stimulus. Play soccer. Kick the footy. Just stay active. That's going to be the main thing right now because we don't have a lot of opportunity. We've only got about an hour a day. But if you've got room in your house where you can play inside your property, against the sibling, that stuff is, is absolutely valuable. Whew, okay, guys. That's me done, guys. That's our session done for another Thursday, week three. So we are going again next Thursday night, but don't forget we've got Tommy Garrett tomorrow night running a ball handling footwork and a bit of a cardio session for you guys. Um, and then we've got some stuff again. Uh, we've got Hoops Fit with Abby uh, Sunday morning. Strength and conditioning, get up and go again with me, 8 a.m. Monday. A few things at night, a couple of coaching sessions. If you wanted to tune in on Tuesday, we've got a coaching session with Scott Christensen, our boys coordinator, which would be great. Um, there's some really good stuff. So tune into the schedule. Um, play one-on-one -on -one against each other. If you've got siblings, core sisters there, I want to see you guys. You want to hear about who, who wins one-on-one -on -one out of you two. Okay. The Chase brothers. Oof, I don't know, I reckon. I reckon the mullet might have it there still, probably. 
probably for a couple more years and then then you'll catch him. But I reckon you've got you covered still. But all right, guys, good to see you all. Great, great work tonight, especially with the plane. Thank awesome you, Jared. Stuff. Thank you, no Jared. Worries, Jared. Jared. See you guys. Thank you. See you guys. Have a good night. Thank you. See you, see you Dan. See you, Matt. Yeah. See you, Chase. See you, girl, Cody. See you, guys. See you on you, guys. See you, Jackson. See you on your mate.